Hello friends, today we will discuss another important topic, chronic fatigue syndrome for the medic MRCPCH clinical examination overview. Chronic fatigue syndrome is also known as myalgic encephalomyelitis. It is a long-standing complex illness characterized by extreme fatigue, cannot be explained by any underlying medical condition as well as it is significantly interfering the daily activity as well as the work. It is expected in our history station, in history station, 14 minutes allotted for the taking history and 10 minutes allotted for discussion, total marks allotted 10. Then you need to think about the symptoms. First of all, post-exertional, it could be mental, it could be physical, post-exertional malaise, sleep problem, there could be disturbed sleep, prolonged sleep, poor sleep hygiene, cognitive difficulties, poor memory, poor concentration, as well as uh, poor in um, processing information. Pain, there could be muscle pain, there could be joint pain, but without having any redness or swelling. If joint pain associated with redness and swelling, think about arthritis. Headache could be associated, it could be associated with a new pattern of headache and severity and new type. Orthostatic intolerance could be present, patient may become symptomatic being in upright or standing position. So throat could be associated, it may be associated with cervical or axillary lymphadenitis. Flu-like symptoms, generalized unwellness, uh, as well as uh, mm, chill and night sweats. Then you need to explore more about the symptoms in history of present illness. So history of present illness always start with onset. Most of the time it is associated with uh, upper respiratory tract infection, any viral infection. Then progress, it is progressing and duration, it is evolving over months, over years but for the diagnosis purpose you need to know the diagnosis criteria it is at least for the six weeks duration aggravating factor in physical or mental uh, stress relieving factor yes there is no relieving factor patient may not improve even after taking rest and you need to think about the association most of the time it is associated with frequent sore throat axillary or cervical lymphadenitis Complication is the child is having debilitating fatigue for a prolonged period of time and losing the school days, poor social life, so depression is inevitable. If important negative history, you need to think about the thyroid dysfunction, any vitamin deficiency, any sort of malnutrition, as well as you need to discuss about any depression, mental illness, liver or kidney dysfunction. And you need to ask about how is the we, how is the poo. Then you need to ask about the past history of similar illness, previous hospital admission, previous surgical history, what are the investigation done so far, and what are the medication the patient is on. If the patient is on any medication, think ask about the compliance as well as the complication or the side effects of the medication, as well as you need to ask uh, uh, about who are the consultant associated with maybe the physiotherapist occupational therapist dietitians as well as the community pediatrics and the general pediatrics are associated with the care nutritional history is very important but one of the treatment modalities is balanced diet you need to ask about the house appetite as well then briefly ask other uh, history like the birth history, immunization history, development history, allergy history, pubertal history. And then coming down to the family history. Family history is very important. We ask about the similar illness in the family, any major illness, anyone unwell in the family, concerning the marriage history, anyone is smoking in the family, and how is the family dynamics. Social history uh, is very important because most of the time hidden agenda lying here so don't ignore the social history if you are running short out, short out of time so go for the social history 
you need to ask about how is the school how is the academics going on is there uh, any history of bully and uh, any laws of school days you need to ask about the home condition as well as any education health care plan or any social support the family is getting or not how this affecting the child's life and how it affecting the family life then diagnosis diagnosis is it is a diagnosis of exclusion uh, but you need to think about the diagnostic criteria duration is at least for six weeks as well as it could not be explained by any other illness associated the debilitating uh, fatigue and uh, it's a post-exertional fatigue uh, even after activity often delayed uh, in onset by hours or days it's disproportionate associated with poor sleep poor sleep hygiene prolonged sleep and poor cognition uh, like poor memory poor concentration and poor in information processing what are the differentials you need to think about first of all infection any sort of infection you need to think about the any other neurological condition like pots uh, endocrine dysfunctions like hypothyroidism adrenal insufficiency addison's disease hematological conditions uh, anemia any malignancy any lymphoma a rheumatological condition um, psychiatric diseases as well as you need to think about connective tissue disease so th these are the differential diagnosis keep all these things in your mind while treating this patient what are the treatment modalities we have there is no cure frankly speaking but we can take some uh, uh, take some uh, approach first of all is medication nowadays amitriptyline uh, is used uh, now uh, uh, now it is approved for the treatment and uh, it, it will minimize the pain as well as the sleep disturbances and treating the depression next thing cognitive uh, behavioral therapy coping strategies we can take uh, graded exercise therapy uh, structure gradual increase in physical activity but uh, the effectivity is still under question and it may not suit for all the patient lifestyle changes uh, we can uh, pacing the activities to avoid uh, over exertion maintaining the good balanced diet healthy lifestyle and a good sleep pattern support group referral is very important for the practical advice and emotional support other management strategies like energy conservation technique prioritizing the task taking breaks in between the task and spreading the activity throughout the day healthy diet uh, eating balanced diet to maintain energy level and overall health stress management technique uh, as medi me uh, meditation and the deep breathing exercise and mindfulness that's all thank you very much and uh, all the best for your examination see you in the next video i hope you are enjoying the video all the best thank you